What's up, Chris? How you doing, man? Yo, this is my buddy, Chris. Living in Hanoi for the past few years. Fellow YouTuber and uh, speak Vietnamese pretty darn well. Which is great because... Mm, yeah, I don't speak Vietnamese that well. Our main goal for today is we want to try one of Hanoi's most prized dishes, Cha Ka. Now this dish is deeply rooted into Hanoi's culture, being over 100 years old and having a whole street dedicated to this one dish. This dish is traditionally done with a snake head fish, but I found a place a little outside the city centers doing it with some catfish. Now I don't know about y'all, but I do love me some catfish, so I was looking forward to this spot. And don't worry, just because it's not traditional way doesn't mean it's gonna be any less delicious. And besides, we all know variety is the spice of life. Okay, so gonna start the day off with some bumbo hue, something you can find any city from north to south, and of course, central Vietnam is loved all over. And it's something I've gotta eat at least once a week. I've not had a bowl yet this week, so I got a craving for it, and if I don't get my weekly bowl of bumbo hue, I'm not a very nice person. So let's go ahead and get in here and check this place out. I saw it. She said, so she said this place has been open for seven years, but they've only been here for four years. They've only been here for four months, so before they were in a little restaurant over there. Yeah, they were over there for seven years and they just moved over here. Now, I don't know if this Bumba Hoi is going to be good, but the aroma passes the test. That is an intense lemongrass flavor just blowing my way. Not even here during a busy time and there's no down period you can waste here. As you can see, if she's not dishing up bowls of noodles, she's gonna be over here getting that beef, just shredding it and shredding it and shredding it on that deli slicer. So we both, what we got is we actually got Dr. Bet style, which just comes with an assortment of stuff. Looks like we got the Yahio, we got the Huit, you got the actually chalo, and then actual pieces of beef. I mean, this thing just kind of goes on and on and on with the ingredients they threw in there. This is the, uh, I don't know how to do it in the South, but this is the North way to do it. They just take it, they probably do it in the South too. They put it into their spoon. So then if the seeds come out, well, there's no seeds, ah, oh, there it is. It catches the seeds. And then you just put it on the side of your bowl. You'll catch that seed and you can throw it off. Throw some of these in here. Looks good. Oh, that's so good, dude. That's gonna be one of the best bowls of Bumba Hue I've ever had. Really. I've never had it in Hanoi, I've had it in Hue, I've had it in Saigon. It's gotta be one of the best. Just to clarify, Chris lives here. <laughs> yeah, I've never had boom all the way here, but yeah, it, this is really good. Now, there's one thing you didn't do that I love. Like, I always clean my chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, you guys, yeah, in the north, they don't do that. They don't do that in the north? <laughs> oh, man. I, my bowl is legit overflowing right now. I'm trying to, like, get this banana blossom in here, and I'm trying to get my little bit of veg and herbs in here, and I can't because it's too full. Get that broth. That beautiful, I mean, this just has the color you want on top, that little orange, yellow top layer. Chris ain't lying, that's some pretty good bumba hoi. That is just salty, oily, the intense lemongrass just attacking you. Then you're gonna get the heartiness from the beef, the richness, the umami. I gotta get after this. Y'all, I'm starting out with some of these blankets of beef right here. Look at that, the way they put that deli slicer so it's nice and thin. 
it's like your typical deli meat beef. I feel like I want more fat on mine, so it's nice. I'm gonna ready to get after the wit, the little blood cake, get for that yahio, and all the other goody ingredients we got in here. Just falling apart. I can't even get in my chopsticks without falling apart. Ooh, they just won me over with that blood cake. That is ultra soft, smooth, not gritty at all, clean. And then you're getting the broth. The reason you come here is the broth. If you ain't doing the broth right, I don't care what you throw in here. And I'll tell you what, they are doing the broth exceptionally well. So much lemongrass, oil, the meatiness. Mm. Chris hadn't said much, he just eaten. Mm. It's so good. I'm just listening to you talk. I just gotta, I gotta keep going. I can't stop. <laughs> But a bowl of noodles is nothing without its, well, noodles. Let's get a slurp in here. Oh man, these are like springy. They got a little bounce to them. They're kind of, kind of hard to hold on to here. Love the contrast with a nice, light, bouncy, chewy noodle with a lemongrass packed, meaty, oily broth. Tin and cartilage peas. That's what I get duck bet for because I'm hoping to get a bunch of these goodies in here. That's like just slightly, slightly got a little texture to it. It's like on the verge of just becoming completely melt in your mouth. Like maybe the outside part of it is a little bit creamy, but the inside still got a little bit of that chew. I think about just a little bit longer cooked, and that would have been absolute perfection, no matter what though. Hmm. Again, it's in that broth. You're gonna get the flavor of that broth, and that's what makes this meal delicious. Cannot speak highly enough about the broth here. I'm saving the yakyo right here. Looks like a little bit of a prize piece. Try it out. Lemongrass, spice, oil, the beef. That is the bumbo hay you want to eat. Well, you've been done for an hour. How was it? It was good. <laughs> it was good. I almost got all my broth done too. I got to get it done too. It was so good, dude. I will definitely be coming back here with friends. It was really funny. She just came over and she said, I asked her like, because on the sign it says like, Chad is 5K, but then right below it, it says, uh, get it for free if you just, you know, self-serve for free. And so I asked her like, what's the deal with that? She's like, if you remember, to self-serve yourself, or if you pay attention and you actually notice it, then it's free. But if you ask for it because you didn't pay attention, then they're gonna charge you for it. So it pays to uh, pays to read and pay attention to things. Okay, that was some pretty darn good Bumbal Hai to start today. Clearly popular. It's not even a busy time for them, and look at just a line of motorbikes here. I think they just stay busy all day long. Like I said, very popular noodle all throughout Vietnam. It's always Bumbal Hai o'clock. Now, since I got Chris with me today, gotta go for a meal that's just, you know, for bringing people together and one of Hanoi's most popular meals, something you gotta eat when you come here, chaka. Now, there is a whole street that is famous for chaka, but since we're out here, we're on the outskirts, I got another place that's really popular. It's a little further out on the city center. Just to try something, mix it up, and do something a little bit different. Oh, Chris, that smells so good. Dude, it looks good. I've had a lot of Chaka in my time in Hanoi, so 
have to see if you're... Are you going to be the professional? Well, <laughs> you're gonna... I know. We'll see. We'll see how it uh, stands up. Yeah, sure, man, whatever you think. Popular. I think this might be some of the other places. The dill smells so good here. If number of people was the indicator of how delicious something is, I got good hope for this place. Dude, it is packed. It's packed, dude. I've never seen a chat cat place this packed. Oh my god. Quick, I didn't check my toy. Toy Moon High Guy, Toy Moon High Guy, Toy. Yes. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Dude, don't, don't give that away, I will eat it. Do you smell the dill in here? Dude, the dill smells so good. I want to give that a try. It's actually one of my favorite spices. I love just the smell. So nice. Oh. So Chaka actually has a history of over a hundred years in Hanoi. Is a dish is really inrooted into the Hanoian culture. As you can see, what they do is they actually get that type of fish that they've already marinated in seasons like turmeric, shallots, garlic the longo fish sauce sugar and they grilled it up on the outside and they brought it in here to further the cooking process. Nice piece of fish. Mix it all up. Oh, dude, that is good. The spices and stuff is really fresh. You don't really usually get that with a lot of the cheaper chakas in Hanoi. Really fresh, really nice. I went every that boom noodle, but the best part is really what goes on in this plate right here in that oil. You get the aroma coming from cooking that dill, more of the spring onion. Such an aromatic dish, something that just automatically makes you hungry. Got a massive bite here. The fish is phenomenal. It's so flaky, so soft. You can see it's just flaking off perfectly, not overcooked, not dry at all. And just an aromatic, it tantalizes your taste buds, the flavor from the dill, the turmeric, you get the shallot, the garlic, the galangal, and then all the mung tom and every other thing you put in here. Temple Vietnamese dish has like 20 ingredients. They brought us the new pan, they said, you need to be eating faster here. I'm like, yes sir, sorry, I ain't got no problem with that. The fish, the spices, Taking all the extra work and effort to go and marinate it for at least an hour, I'm sure it's more than that, and then to grill it, and then to bring it back in. Then you're putting it over the hot plate with oil, with spring onions, and dill. There's so many steps and so much effort and so much tedious work put into this one dish. Bro, I've seen you eat faster today than I have ever have. This food is so good. Normally I just like stick to my normal kind of places, and they're good. Like I. I usually don't put in too much work to find like a really good place, so this is a this is a treat for me for sure. A dish that was once used to bring soldiers home, and I tell you, when you come to this atmosphere, it feels like that too. You see everybody talking, having a good time, drinking. You hear the plates, the bowls clanking. Everybody enjoying a good meal and good company. Chef Chris, I'm uh, I'm preparing for my debut on Master Chef. Vietnam. <laughs> Coming soon. Really the best part is when everything kind of leaks to the bottom. It's where you get all the oil, it's where all the mum tom is going to go. And that's what the boom noodles are for. It's going to soak it all up. So this is like, this is a money bite y'all. This is money bite 101.
don't hate it till you try it. That's what you do, you just kind of keep making bowl after bowl after bowl, create the bite you want. Maybe you want a little more chili, a little lime, a little tom, a little more peanut, a little more boom to pull back on the flavor. You don't ever want to do that though. You just sit here and play with it. Uh, you can tell they are used to cranking customers out. You barely finish and your table is cleared already. Looks like we got a little tofu, a little tofu here. I'm gonna guess a little palm sugar ginger syrup. Yep, that's exactly what that is. He takes my mom thumb, I'll take his uh, taofu. Super Hanoi kind of dessert, I love this. Ooh, that is a fancy tech ass spot. Okay, Chris, I think we did agree. It's a little more expensive, but... Uh, yeah, that's like, normally I go for like the 50K ones. This is like almost three times that, but I mean, it was a lot fresher. It, was, it, it tasted good. It's worth it. I think you really pay for what you what you get. You pay for what you get. Yeah. I mean, they use better materials. Obviously, they cook it for longer. They have more experienced chefs. Probably it makes a difference. For sure. For sure. Worth it. Glad we hit it. We were out here anyways. Okay. So what we got going on is we were over here in a market a little bit later in the day. Got a very popular place doing. Well, I don't really know, but I think they got something sweet and that's what really matters. So I have to go on a little bit of a hunt, looking for a nice little sweet treat to finish today off. Okay, so there's three markets. For some reason, B and C were close together. Where we were, A, which is what we needed, was about three blocks this way. We made it. We're gonna get a green light, cross, and get in here, and keep hunting. Yeah, that's so weird. We found it. What an adventure. Finally found it. And we have found it. It was not over there. We had to walk back over to the first place we were at. Chris called some people. He asked like 20 people. We finally found it. And we we're going for Chow Chai Hui. Had to do some research, but apparently Kong Chai I do believe is a muscle. So this is actually a chow that's gonna have a muscle in it and it is a specialty of Hue. They got some Nim Chua Ran. They got some sweet stuff. It's gonna be a great way to finish off this video. And I feel like I've really worked for it after walking all the wrong way and then now coming back. You all see this scooper for the tofu? That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, so they've been here, they, they moved from Hawaii to here, their family, like 25 years ago. And their restaurant here has been open like 22, 23 years, something like that. She didn't seem to remember, but something like that. She said 20 something years. I want to start with the Nim Tua Zan. That looks so good. I haven't had this in a long time. Gotta dip it in some of the. Uh, Nice spicy chili sauce. So good. Reminds me of like chicken tenders back home, but like Vietnamese style. Follow suit seems like the right thing to do. Gonna get it in some of that non spicy chili sauce. Non spicy. <laughs> this one's really springy. The only thing, my problem with it is that should just be Nam Ran. I ain't got no chew to it. I want a little more sour in mine. It's like a little bit springy. Needs more sour. You know how my uh, my girlfriend told me to do it? How? So she said, uh, 
when you eat the porridge, I don't know if they do this everywhere, but she said eat it from the side. It's not so hot because it cools down on the outside ring a little more. So if you take it from the side rather than the center, it won't burn your tongue. There you go. Ready? That's pretty darn good chow. It's got this really rich umami. What's really big for me is the texture. It's just so cream. There's no, I mean, there's no granule texture to it at all. Have you had any like porridge in Saigon? Yeah. Is it like this or? Different. Really? Yeah, in the north, there, most of the porridges are really creamy like this. Almost all of them, like even normal places are mostly like this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all for real, the best part about this is the one ratio of bang kuei to one ratio of chow you get. It's so crunchy. You going, you going with the su or the dung? I'm going to go with the, the su, I think. With the milk one. Nice and chill and like very refreshing, especially when you're eating this hot and spicy food. Well, not so spicy, but it's hot porridge. So he actually got the one with the su. I'm gonna go with one just the actual dung, the sugar mixture, but man, it's not even hot in Hanoi, but that big old thing of chow will make it break a sweat. I don't know if that's good or if it just hits the spot perfectly after a big old bowl of hot steaming chow. Oh, definitely the milk for me. It's not as sweet. But maybe that's just because like yesterday I had like two cookies, a bowl of che, I had ice cream, I don't know. I was I was on a sweet uh, sweet adventure yesterday, so a little, little less sweet is good for me. What about you? In the South we love our sweet. I'm all for the sugar one. What's the irony of like before I was like, oh I don't want a tofu dessert. And then I came and finished this day off with a tofu dessert. What's wrong with me? We're hitting the spot now though. Maybe after Chad Cat didn't want it, but right now. Mm. Chris, thank you so much for showing me Home City, brother. Appreciate it as yeah, always. Yeah, my pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, man. Anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Having Chris along with us eating. Well, wait, we had two Huey dishes today. Did I just do two Huey dishes in a Hanoi video with a Hanoi local? Oh my gosh. Sorry, brother. There's always next time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think sometimes and now it just like clicked on me. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. The food was delicious no matter what. Y'all to Max. Peace.